want 2K rumors and news, you in the right place. Want a community that's cool, you in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and, and ring, ring the, the bell. bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation, we all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. Wudup, wudup, it's ya, boy. You don't know brutal sim on the scene, wicked and me with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is right now, man. I'll give y'all five seconds, five seconds to like up the video, cause I guarantee this video will change your life, man. Five seconds, y'all. I know. I know y'all got your boy. I know y'all got your boy, man. Bruce Squad, we in the building. Now, this is our, uh, I'm going to start a series off for pro tips, of course. Um, and I'm going to show y'all the benefits of using no bar with the shots. Thing. Now, I ain't going to frown y'all. I got to apologize to a lot of people who hit me up. Bro, you got to try the pro stick with no bar. And I was fighting. I was like, nah, bro, I'm good because I was doing pretty good with the bar. But with me removing the bar, I actually remove most of the stresses of the game. I want to explain to y'all real quick. So first, let me start off uh, showing y'all my control settings, of course. Uh, this is how I'm running with it right now. I might adjust a few things in terms of the layups because the layups are a little bit sketchy for me. I ain't going to front with y'all. But the shots, I got the shot down packed. This is, this is what the video is about, right? So this is what I do right now. Of course, free throw, user timing, whatever, the whole nine, aim, user timing is important as well very important and the pro stick function is on default pro stick orientation and absolute and same thing on off ball mode whatever same thing right so these are my settings i'm running right now especially for my shot now i want y'all to go to macro and these are the settings y'all need to go to practice this is practicing now i could do this up to superstar but when you guys start hall of fame it's a little bit more um challenging but i could do this up to superstar but i suggest you go on pro five minute quarters to test this out and to get this down now remember you see the face cam um the hand cam not the face cam the hand cam right now my hand is in a really uncomfortable position when i'm not used to playing usually i played off um on my lap but because of the hand cam i gotta bring it up here and play it on the desk right on my computer desk right now right so i'm probably gonna struggle a little bit getting the aim but my timing is still gonna be on so let's get into a career game and i'm gonna show you all the benefits to using pro stick with no bar right the aim or sh the shot aiming stick with no bar right so let's get into a career game real quick your boy is in the playoff let's go now while we loading up let me explain to you how it works man we're gonna use all the time as efficient as possible we're not gonna waste any time now the benefit is this right now even with the bar this works to be quite honest right but when i'm playing without the bar i focus more on the shot timing and not as much on the shot aiming the shot aiming is just a next benefit to me a lot of people hit me up ask me brute how are you going far right of and far less or far left and getting the same green animations that's because my shot timing is always on point because i focus on mastering my jump shot and mastering the shot timing right and this has been working for my point forward as well not only my play shot this has been working on my point forward actually i figured this out and not really yes i actually figured it out i ain't gonna front by messing around i figured it out while i was using my point forward so it's not about having a high shooting build because gambit he got like his shooting build is like a 75 or something around there that's where it max out and he's hitting consistently by using the same method no bar with the shot aim stick right now as i said i focus more on the release timing and this is the motion y'all got right i use the right trigger to lock it in not the left a lot of people use the left for me it's much easier with the right because now i could do one motion one hand right and this is the motion i do right now you'll see that so it's supposed to be i pull this down lock it in release that's what it's supposed to be pull this down lock it in release but i just one motion i might get it on the right timing i might not whatever but i live with the consequences of me pull it down but i focus more on the release i focus more on this right here on the release with this one the release that flick up here is why i focus more 
than anything else, right? The release timing. And you're all going to see it in this video. You're going to see some lefts, some rights. You're going to see some stuff going in and you're going to see a lot of animations. Now, um, it, before we continue, it's, it's important to note that you get the green splash when you get centered, but you get the green animation and you get the green animation as well once you send it, right? But you only get the green animation once you got the shot timing on point. Once you get that, once you got that perfect, that's when you get the green animation. So a lot of people see me in the park with the green animation, but no green splash. That's because I'm getting the timing on point. All right. So let's check out first thing. Pick and roll. Hopefully I get a green first one. The, oh, that was slightly, slightly of course, but you know this is slightly, but it's wide. It was actually far off to a different side, right? That's because I've always focused on timing me. Snap back. Yo, you see the wave? Now, you look at it. Look at it. You see that was wide left. But the timing was on and it's the same thing for the part because I got my timing down pat y'all right so I noticed it was wireless so I'm gonna adjust a little bit and like I said this is an awkward way for me to play with my controller so y'all gonna see a bunch of off left and off right because right now you see it's kind of crooked and yeah because the cord is running this way whatever whatever I think this might be the best um, way to show y'all what I'm talking about right now. right here it is try to adjust a bit and you see the green splash and that's a center Right, y'all see that's a center. So now I got the green splash and the animation with a center. So y'all see right there, man. So once, like, you got two ways to get greens, man. You got two ways. It's either you focus on, either you get the center, and sometimes you get both, bro. Come on, set the screen. What are you doing? There you go, wave. Excellent timing, but slightly left. So you see what I'm talking about, y'all. And that's the that that's why a lot of people a lot of people messing me. Yo, how is it wide right? Because you as a opponents only see the the um the aiming feedback. The opponents only see slightly left, left, wide left, wide right. But they never see the shot timing, which is a weird thing that 2K did, which uh, which tend to frustrate. So people are hitting me up, bro. What the hell is going on, bro? How? You going wide left, wide right, but my shot timing, I'm shoot, I'm really using the method like I'm using the shooting button. Like how I used to shoot with no bar or no button last year. That's that's how I'm looking at it. And a lot of people won't understand why I'm giving me that. Kobe. Late, slightly, slightly, whatever. It's a mini. My mini is like 95, anyways. So that should go in. Um But yeah. If you all understand what I'm saying, I'm not using it like the thing i'm using like if i'm using a button with no thing so it's like i'm doing this right now to me to me get the timing down down to the millisecond so i'll focus more on getting the timing down with the stick instead of focusing on aiming like i used to do before if y'all notice in previous video i will show you how to use the pro stick and aim it guide it in now there's no guiding with me i'm locking it in as soon as i click down as soon as i click down i'm locking it in y'all as soon as I click down, I'm locking it in. I don't care where it's let, I'm locking it in because I'm not focused on, on the pull down and guiding. I'm focused on the pull down and the release, y'all. And, it's, and it's, it's that simple, y'all. After the quarter, I'm going to end the video, of course. Now I got, yo, now when you get the, ooh, when you get the, the when you get this, man, you're a god. I ain't going to front you. Come on, man. Pass the ball. Pass the ball. What are you trying? Give me that. No disrespect, brute. Wave up, brute. Wave up, brute. And that was more timing than anything, I'm sure. Because you guys see the green splash. Once you guys see the green splash, your timing is on excellent release. You know what I mean? And the window became becomes so big with the timing. It's ridiculous once you got that sharp shooting take, y'all. And I'll tell y'all, this, I've been doing this with my point forward first, of course. So it, it definitely works for Bill. This is why my point forward improves on his three point foot um, percentage drastically, of course. I don't care about that, all right? Ooh, he defended that. <laughs> uh, chase down Brute in the building. Ah, <laughs> oh, let's go. To be honest, all I need is the logo, son. I 
I'm pulling that, bro. Wave up. I'm pulling that, bro. Wave up. The, my timing is on point, y'all. My timing is on, on point. One of the fastest jump shots in the game right now, I got, of course. But timing, give him the ball. Give him the ball. Give him the ball. Let's go. Get one more from the quarter, real quick. So hopefully this video help y'all out, man. A lot of people been asking me. Like I got so much message with a lot of people just asking me, yo, brute, how is this possible, bro? How are you going wide right? How are you going wide left and still dropping the green animation? So hopefully this made it much easier for y'all to understand. It's not like I'm treating it like the shot stick aiming. I'm treating it like it's the the button timing with no bar. Very similar to how I played last year. And of course, once uh, let me show y'all again. This is this is what I do. From the top i'm holding down there release that from the top now again i would get more centered if i was more like playing how i usually play with my hand on my laps you know usually i got my 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 elbows on my chair um rail right there that's built to hold my my arms and my hands are held, held down but anyways man hopefully this video help you all out you all know what it is your boy sim um, let me know if y'all want some more of these videos. I'm going to be working on defensive videos soon. So like up the video. Let me get back on my tutorial grind as well as the news. Y'all know I'm going to be on that. That's me. The source of information for y'all. Making your life easy out there, man. So anyways, man. Like up the video. Share the video. If it's not your first time, like the video. Share the video. You never know who's going to be informed, man. And don't forget to subscribe for more content, y'all. Your boys, you want love, respect, bless up. Peace, peace, peace. peace.